I'm going to raise my voice with Sheriff David Clark and Peggy Hubbard in denouncing Black Lives Matter. As a black man growing up here in the United States, growing up in Bedford-Stuyvesant during the 60s and 70s, I lived on Kosciuszko Street between Tompkins and Marcy during the 70s, 70s and early, 60s, 70s, and early 80s. Never once got stopped by a cop, except for traffic violation when I started to drive. I lived in Harlem. Never once got stopped by a cop. cop and I used to come home from work sometimes at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. And never once got stopped by a cop. And growing up in, in Bethel Stuyvesant, the only time I was ever stopped and accosted was not by a Chinese kid, not by a Spanish kid, not by a white kid, but by these black thugs that were in the neighborhood who were taking things off of people who terrorized the neighborhood. They were terrorists. And they were terrorizing other black folks, and it still happens now. That's why so many of our black people are getting killed in our own neighborhoods. And we want to talk about Black Lives Matter. Why should anybody care? Why should anybody else care that and black lives should matter when it doesn't even matter to many of us? What do I mean by that? We're 14 to 19 percent of the population, yet we slaughter 78 percent of our babies. Why don't we go and protest in front of Planned Parenthood, who's killing our babies? And it's planned that way to kill our babies. It's genocide, but nobody's, you guys are not protesting that. 78% of our babies are being slaughtered. How many of you in Black Lives Matter have ever had an abortion or had your girlfriend have an abortion? And then you want to start pigs in a blanket, slaying like, frying like bacon, and you slaughtering, you frying your own kids? And you want to talk about Black Lives Matter? What, did anybody protest when a little girl who was sitting on her bed got shot and killed? We're in her bed, in her mother's home. Nobody protested that. If you did protest it, maybe the news didn't cover it. If you did, I'm sorry. But did anybody protest Kayla Mueller? You guys know who Kayla Mueller is? Kayla Mueller went over to the Middle East to help some girls, who, to, to help people uh, who were being ravaged by what's going over there. She was captured by ISIS and raped repeatedly, day after day after day. And this government knew it and didn't say anything about it, didn't go in and get her, and they finally killed her, savagely killed her. Why don't you go and protest your politicians and tell them, ask them, why didn't they go and do something about that? Didn't her life matter? She was making a contribution to society. And that's the problem. We as a people, are not as black people, we don't understand what's going on here. We're killing ourselves. Our neighborhoods are not safe. Our neighborhoods are not. Why should I have any fear? I don't have any fear. But why should our people have fear of walking around our neighborhoods because they think somebody's going to come and attack them or come and mug them or come and put a, stick a gun in their face. And not a white kid, not a Chinese kid, not a Spanish kid, but a, but a black kid. Not a black kid. And those are the guys who you want to go out and protest when they get stopped by a cop or shot by a cop and get attacked. I know not a lot of you are not going to like what I'm saying. But the, the fact of the matter is that we as a people have got to stop this nonsense. I as a Christian cannot participate in this nonsense about Black Lives Matter as though nobody else's lives matter. I can, can't do it. And, and us as a people, we're too used to bending over, grabbing our ankles, and taking it all the way up to the mustache and still holding out our hand and saying, what's the government going to give me? Where's my food stamps? Where's my health care? Where's my clo housing? Where's this, that, and the other? What's the government going to give me instead of being a contributor to society? The reason why I've never been stopped by a cop and I'm, again, I'm sorry if, if those of you who have been stopped by a cop are just like me, because I go to work every day. And I've, 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 if I've met a bad cop, they weren't a bad cop when they were dealing with me. And I didn't give them a reason to be a bad cop when they were dealing with me. They were a good cop dealing with me. Why? Because I'm going about my business. Again, I've never been stopped for any other reason than a traffic violation. And any time I was stopped for a traffic violation... Everything was cool because I, I, I gave him my stuff. Gave, if, I, if I got a ticket, I got one. If I didn't get one, I didn't get one. And so many times I didn't get one. I don't get traffic violations all the time. But whenever I've been stopped, I got some sometimes. Got, but never been stopped for anything. So we as a, as, a, as a people have to make sure that we stop with this victim mentality. Yeah, we, we were victimized back in the slavery days. But we have an opportunity now to do something and be contributed to society. If I was to ask you, and take a poll. 
do, if you could tell me what party, what political party was responsible for Jim Crow, slavery, and segregation, you'd probably say it was the Republicans. If I were to ask you who, who was fighting to abolish slavery, you'd probably say it was the Democrats. You'd be wrong on both crowds. And I am not a Democrat or a Republican. I am a Christocrat. Whatever Christ is doing, that's what I'm doing. And that's all I'm doing. Now, I don't support any party for anything that they're doing. I look at what's going on and I observe, but the Democratic Party has been used to giving us stuff so we be quiet and we take whatever it is they would dish out to us. And we're being raped by this country. Not by, not, not by, 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 by some of these par politicians in, in these parties. Are raping our people on a regular, consistent basis. But you don't care as long as you know, we got our hand out. A lot of people are not going to like this. I know I'm going to get a lot of bad comments on the bottom of this, which is going to prove my point. Because when somebody went, I have, to, I have to support everything black people do because I'm black. Absolutely not. I'm not doing any foolishness like that. Right? If it's wrong, it's wrong. And talking about pigs in a blanket, frying my bacon is wrong. And, and that's not what, de where are the decent black folks who put up a video and denounce that foolishness? Where are the decent people, period? Stop talk, thinking about you're going to be labeled as racist. Those guys are racist. You're racist when you think that you can stand up and say it's open season on white people. It's open season on police officers. I got many friends who are police officers. One of my best friends, Jimmy Myers, a police officer in Waco, Texas. He's my gym buddy. He'd give his life for you if you were in danger. He'd give his life for you. Those of you who are in Black Lives Matter, he'd give his life for you. And you're going to talk about pigs in a blanket? I've got, I've got family members who are, who are police officers, right? And they're decent police officers. And yeah, there's some black, the, um, some bad ones. But it's just like white people looking at all black people because they run into a couple of black people and saying all black people are bad. All black people are hoods. All black people are thugs. They're white people who think that, right? Then do you justify that? So this foolishness has got to stop, people. This divide and this separation, this segregation has got to stop. And let me say one last thing. And, and I'll finish on this. And this is on immigration. Listen, we love everybody around the world. But come in here legally. My mom was, a, was born in Cuba, raised in Jamaica, and came over to the United States. Legally. My dad, the Jamaican, came here legally. My grandmother, Cuban, came over here legally. Many friends and family came over here legally. This is not about keeping people out of the country. It's about people coming in here legally and doing what's right to get into the country and paying the price. That, that, that's just a simple fact of, uh, fact of the uh, matter. Pay the price to come into the country and do what you need to do to get in here. Now, I'm going to say this, and the only people who are Christians are going to understand what I'm saying. If you're not a Christian, you're just not going to understand it. You're not going to accept it. When God sets up his kingdom, you think anybody can come in there legally? You think that they can just sneak in? And, and come in on the defense, or it's not going to happen because Christ is not going to allow it. So why should we take the position that's up? Now, I'm not saying the United States is the kingdom. I'm just saying that we have laws here. So follow the laws, and if it takes you a little while to come in, we welcome you to come in and participate in whatever benefits that you can participate or make a, contri a contribution to society. And that's why I go to work every day. I pay taxes. I never get a, ch I never get a check at the end of the year. I got to write a check to the government at the end of the year. And I'm happy to do it. Because if I'm in trouble, I want a policeman to come and help me out. I'm not going to call somebody in Black Lives Matter. Well, that's going back to the other subject. But, um, you know, I'm mixing up a couple of things here. But again, you, you come in here legally and do what you got to do. Black Lives Matter, stop this foolishness. Because that, that doesn't do anything but divide us. If Martin Luther King would be rolling in his grave, if he would see exactly what's going on now with people who don't respect themselves and who don't want to pull themselves up. If you can't find a job, make one. If you don't want to be poor, if you want to help the poor, don't be one of them. And then take your success and go help somebody. That's the way we do it. And that's the way it should be done. This is me and I'm out.